Hello everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange. So last episode we got dressed, we swam, we almost got caught and we slept at Chloe's house because we couldn't go back to our dorm. So now we're going downstairs. Wait, what's this? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh, I know that photo. And some condoms. Okay. Let's go downstairs. To have some breakfast. Some free breakfast again. Oh my again. god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. And we got again. I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. Oh. Richard Marsh. This is the father of Kate. Um. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that's very nice. That's better than the private number. It was unknown, of course, not private. Uh, let's wash ourselves and then go downstairs. Can we actually do that? Hello, bird. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. We can look at the towel. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Nice. Brush tree, brush teeth. Let's use and uh, wash ourselves a little before we go downstairs. It's so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. <laughs> toothbrush. Well, we can, but it's not our toothbrush. So we're just gonna leave that and wait until we get back. Making selfies with the Polaroid, I'm not sure that's the best thing to do with these kinds of cameras, but oh well. And we got an achievement called Pinhold. Apparently. I hope Dad is not home. Or Stepdad for that matter. Hmm. Oh wow, that's a nice one. Swing! And birds! I think that's me. Not sure. Hello there! Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, wow. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon. <laughs> well, we had that yesterday, so let's go for pancakes today. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So nice. this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Okay, we can do that. Eggs and milk? No problem. Let's go inside the refrigerator. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Wait, no milk in the refrigerator? Then where are they? Cereal... Oh, there's the milk. Now for the mother's milk. Newspaper, bottle... Sliding door. Can we go outside now? Oh, why are there dead birds here everywhere? Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. There's also one there and there. If these are all pigeons... Wow, this almost brings me back to one of the apocalyptic films. I think it's... Well, I'm not sure which one it is. But it has to do something with pigeons which lose Wowzer. their Chloe sense of gravity. So do I. Nice. Let's see, where are the... Luke? Looks like a message. Let's play it. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know, your stepdaughter's car was oh, identified... Geez. Can you help me get this bird out of here? ...last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? <laughs> of course. Oh, there the hex. 
Uh, well, I think it doesn't really matter if we the listen to The eggs always later. come first, as Joyce used to say. Or do I rewind? I'm not sure I'm gonna do that. This might be the one time these people are right. The end is now. Yep, indeed. Okay, exit milk got. Let's try to see if we can get the bird out of here. Oh wait, it can't go upstairs. Okay. Can I do something else here? Can we go into the garage? It doesn't really look like it. Okay, then let's bring the elk. The Wow, the elk, the eggs and milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. <laughs> or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Morgan. Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt really? it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're it only is. 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Oh, I really hope Stepdad is out of the picture now. He's already back to work. And he's not just lying in bed upstairs. I wonder if I can go up now. Message deleted. Goodbye, there we go. message. Dad does not need to hear that, only... Well, okay. Oh, there's the bird. Look. Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Okay, come on. Keep it open? Can I keep it open? No, it open or it slides shut behind me. Is there something here I can do, actually? Swing. I can sit on the swing. And no, nothing yet. Okay. But I will so sit in the swing. But first, let's scare the bird and see if we can get it out of here. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's open the window. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. That's not a good idea. Scared a bird. You know what? We could do this two times, but we also could go a little further back. There we go. And now let's scare the bird. There we go. Bird is outside. And now sitting on the fence outside. Let's close it. And let's go outside to meet the bird again. I almost got the feeling there is something extra with the bird we can do. Not sure. Oh, there he is. There we go, that's better. Aha! Raw strength! We got an achievement. 
Okay, let's hit here. Let's see if we can get some more Chloe background. We take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. That's fun. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Only a little different way this time. I wonder how these birds died. Yeah, me too. I almost got a feeling they're froze to death. Okay, um... Who drinks beer this early around here? Uh oh I think I know who. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. <laughs> Flash snow in Freak Eclipse, Apocalypse Soon? Student leaps to public death at Blackwell Academy. Okay, let's go sit down. Well, there are three chairs here, that's at least something. Oh, there's a fourth one in the corner. Oh, interesting. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Okay. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Oh. Well, that was really not the thing I was now expecting. Now that's what I call pancakes. Oh, American pancakes. They're really different than the ones we have in, in the Netherlands, or normally make in the Netherlands. They're a lot more fluffy. Because you stir up the eggs and we don't? I think that's the reason why. You leave out the yellow pieces of the egg. Not sure. Oh really? Come on, at least clean your plate. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Yeah, that's always that way. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh. Can I get... No! Oops. Wrong button. At least slow... There. Yeah. Go a little faster. Now that's what I call pancakes. Okay, well, can we get out now or something? Do I need to wait? I guess I'll wait for a second. Seeing you again. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. Photo I know time. these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I don't. Oh, sorry. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. Green hair? William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. Ouch. He had his car out right after this and... Crashed to his death, I bet, I guess. I bet. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. So we did die and not run off. I didn't okay. show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Not even with Rachel? Oh wow, I didn't really remember that. Did you guys or have a bonding reminded. session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. 
Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, wow. Relax. No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else well, does. I guess this was part of the plan. I'm not sure I like this plan, but... I do need to get into oh, David's well. computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Indeed. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Okay. Um, door. I know there's a file cabinet in the top. Oh, wow. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Yep, yeah, good. First, let's try and... Wait, that will be reminded? Interesting. Nothing to see here. Okay. And there are files up there. I hope we can see that... Family? Step that. Such wrong. Damn it. Quit. Okay, other cupboard. Nothing in it. And we know the TV. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Uh, 7171. Not a very good one, but let's look around a little more. Let's look at that padlock. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Oh, no. Can I see something here? No. Okay. Search this drawer. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Well, it might. Oh. Mr. Tough Guy. I could try the license number for the password. Okay, we got a few numbers. This one is 63567. Okay. A book. Looks like David has read this a lot. What yeah, did he yes. learn? Veterans Guide. Um, coming back home, a Veterans Guide. Ah, okay. And we're not really helping. Um, personal. That one. <sighs> Try again. Okay. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay, the army coat. Worst hacker ever. Indeed. No way, Max. Okay. You totally froze the laptop. Okay, we didn't find it back there. All the numbers we found didn't work. So let's find a little different stuff. We got a tape here. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. 07-2007. Yep, could be. Let's search her for some more. Dude, can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. What is the first word there? Honk! Just married. Okay. Honk might be a password. Um, door back here. That's cute. Could be a password here. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what one it would be, but could try it. A knife. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. USMC. To my field angel, keep your wings up. Okay. Car, let's look at it. Now the car plates, looks ready to roll. Number plate. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. I like it. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Uh, it was an honor having you in, in the din diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. I'd love to thank you again with you. Huh? Love to talk to you with you again. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forgot. That's nice. 
I would almost say young David love. has been dragging his head around since 2001. That's a long time. It's almost as old as I am. Okay. Let's see. Army. Um, let's use this one. Magic 8 Ball says no. No nope. way, Max. You told totally me okay. froze Let me the try the other out. ones. Yeah. Try again. Interesting. No way, Max. So, even none of these were the code. Okay, interesting. Um, now what? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I found it. I think I found it. Um, at the other side of this thing is another thing. It's the, uh, the things he bought that day. And there's a date there. 11, 27. Oh, 08. If anything might be a password, might meet that date. Family. There we go. Score! Finally. Max the hacker strikes again. That Whoa. took me a while. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Okay. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. I've heard Kate and Danny talking about the supplies for the Fortress Club drugs. Uh, watching Kate with her church group. Knows she's trouble. And no, she knows her Bible. Uh, Kate stays in Berkeley bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. Uh, saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has stepped out of herself since the fourth text club. Uh, not even church. Drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Yeah, of course that means she's guilty. This is so wrong. Max? <gasps> Creepy bastard. Wait, what? why does he have my schedule? Etc. Okay. Well, that is creepy. Um, Max Factor, Matt Max, Max Factor, Noir Angel, right? I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. But no files. Oh, the files there are gone. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. Let's go through this door. Because the bathroom is on this side. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm back. Hello? Okay, I'm back. Hello? Oh, no, not him. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Oh, vandalism what happened? happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <laughs> Wow, he is uh, sure of himself. Hello. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm Why just not? always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Um... 
Side with Chloe. Sorry, but that's a really easy decision. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying yeah, on people in your family rocks. at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Yes, you Not do. from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Woman. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David... You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in oh. my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Oh. <laughs> I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Well, at least we can talk to her. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? I do, I do. Can I even speak to him? I'm not sure I want to. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Okay, but it's all your own fault. I think one person is at least happy here. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> I now totally want to rewind this thing. Okay. So, that happened all in this episode. Wow, that was... a big fight. Finally. Well... I really hope... David is going to investigate Nathan now. Not only think about the family, but also investigate Nathan. That would be very handy. I hope I pushed him in this direction. Not sure, of course, but I really hope so. But this will be the end of this episode. Please leave a like on it if you did. And if you want to see more of me, please consider subscribing. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.